Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So if you guys remember, I created a community post asking about the Q&A video. So now we have changed the format a little bit. Before we used to do live streams about Q&As every Sunday, but now we'll create community post every week and you guys can post your questions there. So keep a track on our community tab and I'll try to answer maximum questions. Here also, if you see, we have 25 questions. We'll take almost every question. So now without wasting any more time, let's get started. So the first question is from a user who asks us about about what brand do you recommend instead of oneplus i value the clean system good battery life great performance and quality camera especially in videos so if we talk about the videos i would say if you are not much with ios stuff you can go with the samsung because samsung s23 ultra does a great job i record most of my videos with s23 ultra i mean to say the b rolls but if you have ever used apple and if you are okay with the ios ecosystem then you can go with any iphone starting from iphone 14. next question is from devil who says is there any possibility of bringing back game optimization in oneplus devices games like bgmi because bgmi runs quite good on other smartphones like iq it's really bad in oxygen os 13 gaming experience so even i have seen oxygen os 13 have some restrictions when it comes to core performance before we used to see great performance from oneplus when it comes to gaming segment but now after the merge of color os i think gaming performance is not well optimized right now there is no possibility of bringing back the previous oxygen os optimization either you can use oxygen os 11 if your device had the support of that let's wait and see what oneplus is going to bring with oxygen os 14. next question is from avinesh who says can we have a separate os for oneplus pad just like ipad os see oneplus pad is a first device which oneplus have launch so wait for some time a lot of changes are seen in the os like recent with the recent update they have added the special audio feature and some minor tweaks have been done i haven't done a video on that but gradually in future if oneplus continues their pad lineup obviously we'll see a lot of changes in regular oxygen os 13 and their pad os taking the next question where user says how much would be the cost of foldable screen if they get damaged is it worth to buy foldable right now in india so right now if you talk about foldable we have samsung who is a king of foldable right now if you are buying samsung so samsung screens are not that costly compared to other brands so if you see my device uh, this is s23 ultra and the screen is little bit cracked here and when i spoke to the customer care about the screen replacement of this device it only costing around 17 to 18k which is a good thing and if you're planning to buy the fold series i think their cost is a bit high but if you can afford samsung fold then there should not be an issue i think in replacing replacing cost is around 40k on their official website shitis is asking wants to know which os is best for oneplus 9 pro see os only one os we have if you talk about the official version which is oxygen oxygen os 13 and in this also if you are talking about the version i would recommend you to try out oxygen os 11 that used to run pretty good on oneplus 9 series then tushar says you last time posted some new features in last month update of oneplus 9 and 9 pro but when normal users get the update there is no change in the camera settings or multi-screen when will the next update come and should we get those features see even i am a normal user and i use the same files which you guys will be receiving via ota update so there's nothing like i'm using an advanced version of oxygen os 13 or any particular build make sure to check out the version which i have mentioned in that video because if you are using the same version you'll obviously get those features then unica reel says is closed source custom room safe to use like nameless uh, nameless custom room so basically closed source custom rooms are not that different here the only restrictions is codes are not shared publicly when it comes to open source there those codes are available to everyone if they want to make any changes in the os or code and i always say use a trusted developer custom room to avoid any damage to your phone rohit says any good gcam mode for nothing phone 2 so far bro so right now rohit uh, i would update you guys about the same thing i'm already testing a apk but that seems to be not stable so give me a week time i'll try to you know uh, test few more applications and i'll update you guys in the new video then ketan says i'm getting nothing phone 1 in second hand at 20 do you think it is a good deal in today's date 20k is a good deal 
just make sure you have uh, you know six months or uh, five months left with the warranty and check the scratches just check, check the physical condition of the device if everything is okay then 20k is a good deal try to bargain if you can get him uh, you know around 17 to 18k that will be a great deal another user says is there any way to enable 5g in android 11 or oneplus 8 pro and whenever updating to 11 or 12.1 for 5g getting multi-touch problem like device register only three fingers not four or above also downgrading to 11 problem have gone please pick my question so here what you can do is there is a method where you can get 5g enabled on oxygen os 11 i'll try to link that you know um, article in the description below and if i have sufficient time i'll also do a video on that but as far as i know geo doesn't work with that particular method which i'll be mentioning so if you have geo sim card avoid that method but you can still give it a try rakesh kumar says will all the features of nothing os 2.0 come on nothing phone one see mostly 90 percent of the features will be coming to nothing os or i mean to say the nothing phone one when nothing os 2.0 is released because i have seen paranoid also released a build which did add some more features of nothing os 2.0 on nothing phone one i'll soon be testing out that build but mostly 90 to 95 percent of features will be coming to nothing phone one with nothing os 2.0 gaming says will you make a video on lineage os 20 review on oneplus 11 yes i was already planning that video but now uh, i'm testing a custom room on my oneplus 9 after that next video of custom room will be on oneplus 11 we'll try to cover lineage os 20 then Vikram Sina says, Hi team, currently I am using OnePlus 5T from the last 5 years. OnePlus 5T is obviously a great device. I want to upgrade my phone. Budget is 40. Can you suggest me phone priority is clean software, camera should be good, battery, multimedia, I don't play games. So here I have one option. If you ask me about 40 KC, if you have already used OnePlus, I would say go with OnePlus 11R. But if you can increase your budget approximate 2 or 3K, then go with Nothing Phone 2. If you don't do gaming, Nothing Phone 2 has the cleanest i won't suggest you pixel and other devices another user says can you explain how youtube modded application works in 120 fps on oneplus 11 and yet youtube original app does not uh, does not work so here oneplus have set restrictions to most of the applications uh, you know to uh, use the 60 hertz uh, option I, I i've seen a lot of users complaining about it but now in past with few software updates they did fix some issues like gallery and other stuff do support 120 hertz but youtube i'm not sure whether it is a restriction from oneplus plus or is something related to youtube application but there are still ways where you can get 120 hertz one is the easiest method to use that is set edit wala method using that also you can get 120 hertz on youtube application and then we have an application called auto hertz that is a paid application but still you guys can try it out that will give you an option to choose which all apps you want to use 120 hertz another user says i have oneplus 9 pro internet is working but incoming and outgoing calls are not working any solution so this might be a software issue or if you have purchased your device from a different country then there we get the unlocked versions and once you flash the full zip file or you try to downgrade your device the device again gets locked so this might be an issue if you have purchased or imported your device from different country in that case you have to again unlock your device but once let me know in the comment section below did you import your device or what money says does oneplus downgrade their flagship devices after some years so see i personally don't believe in this thing that brands downgrade their device what i personally feel is this is my personal experience guys and we have seen in past that apple was accused of this but in my entire experience i've been using android phones and i personally don't feel that you know brands uh, downgrade their device after a few years there are a lot of things which happens in the background like you get huge software size applications also gets updated and if you see in past application size used to be around 20 or 30 mb but now there are applications with the same applications wherein size have gone up to 100 mb or 80 mb so these things matters a lot if you are using an older device and if you talk about the battery i always recommend replacing the battery after battery percentage have gone below 80 percent another user says why i'm not getting the latest oxygen os 13 build on my oneplus 11 so if you're not getting ota update you can use uh, what do we say oxygen os updater application and install the official room on oxygen os updater application you'll get the same build then Sakib says how many major os update will oneplus 9 pro get so i think oneplus 9 pro will last get oxygen os 14 after that i'm not sure whether it will get oxygen os 15 or not but oxygen os 14 is confirmed for oneplus 9 pro pikachu says my oneplus 80 got a green line recently how can i get it resolved for free and also i got updated to the latest build which is dot 580 
if i update will i get more lines so i have always been saying in my every video before updating the device to shoot a video from a different phone if you have one or else do not update your device so that you guys should have a proof that this thing happened after the update and you can get the free replacement but still you can replace your device screen free of cost if you have zero dent on your phone veer says by one plus 11 bahut dash uh, gaming performance hai cpu uses 100 percent gpu 5 kuch solution nikalo gpu ke force karne ka kyunki developer settings mein bhi kuch nahi ho raha so brother ye hamare haath mein nahi hai and ye gpu and cpu ka maine combination dekha hai even on samsung s23 ultra yahan pe bhi gpu ka usage very minimal rehta hai jab hum बात करते हैं सीपी यूसेज के कंपैरिजन में सीपी यूसेज का हरदम हाई रहता है Samsung S23 Ultra में भी बट एक और चीज है आई हैव सीन कुछ लोग बोलते हैं कि गेम स्पेस एप्लीकेशन से BGMI को रिमूव कर दो तो परफॉर्मेंस अच्छा हो जाता है मैं पर्सनली नहीं करता हूं बिकॉज़ मेरा प्राइमरी फोन आजकल OnePlus 11 ही है काफी अच्छा परफॉर्मेंस देता है एंड मैं गेम स्पेस से नहीं निकालता बिकॉज़ मेरे को नोटिफिकेशंस का इशू होता है जब मैं जायरो के साथ खेलता हूं सो so, इसका अभी तो कोई सॉल्यूशन नहीं है बट लेट्स सी इन फ्यूचर जाके इंप्रूवमेंट्स देखने को मिलते हैं गेम्स में नहीं बिकॉज़ BGMI ये में भी एक ऐसा गेम है जो ऑप्टिमाइज नहीं है बहुत सारे इश्यूज हैं उसमें एंड अच्छा रहता अगर जो वो गेम बैन ही रहता बिकॉज़ मैंने रीसेंट टाइम्स में देखा है ये रीलॉन्च होने के बाद कुछ खास ऑप्टिमाइजेशंस नहीं कर रहे हैं क्राफ्टन BGMI को रिलेटेड सो गाइस दिस वाज आवर क्यू एंड ए वीडियो एंड आई थिंक आई हैव टेकन ऑल योर क्वेश्चंस आई हैवंट मिस्ड आउट एनी 25 क्वेश्चंस वी हैव कवर्ड बट स्टिल कीप एन आई ऑन द कम्युनिटी टैब आई विल सून बी पोस्टिंग अ न्यू कम्युनिटी पोस्ट फॉर अवर नेक्स्ट क्यू एंड ए वीडियो एंड इफ यू गाइस लाइक अवर सीरीज देन मेक श्योर टू स्मैश दैट लाइक बटन एंड आल्सो मेक श्योर टू सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल दिस इज अ फ्रेंड अशोक साइनिंग आउट सी यू गाइस इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो